Ladies and gentlemen, uh, in this problem, we're going to determine the coefficient of static friction between an object and a surface. Okay. Um, to start us off, we should always draw a free body diagram, and so that's what we're going to do here. That is my book on this table. Um, this is the, the weight or the force of gravity, and here is my normal force between the book um, and the table. We have an applied force, and we have a force of static friction. Now, it's static because the object is not moving. Okay, um, Like all force problems, uh, we're going to start off by determining the net equation in the y direction. Okay, So, F y net. Um, here we have normal force minus the force of gravity. Now, because book isn't moving up or down, the Fy net is going to be zero. The force is going to be zero. Um, the normal force is what we need to determine minus mass times gravity. Now, once again, the equation for weight or the force of gravity is mass times the acceleration due to gravity. Um, and I just plug this equation um, for that variable there. All right. And so we have minus 15 times 9.8. Now, notice how I didn't put negative 9.8. Uh, and the reason for that is because the negative has already been declared right here. Okay. Uh, if we do that, we get zero is equal to normal force minus 147. Um, I'm going to add 147 to both sides to get that my normal force is 147 newtons. Okay. After you do that, we want to determine the static coefficient of static friction and friction always is in the plane of movement. In order to determine the coefficient of static friction, we have to take a look at the force diagram and determine where is the movement. And we can see that the movement is in the x direction, so we're going to start off by writing a net equation for the x direction. So we have fx net is equal to force of static friction, oh, that's minus because it's going to the left, um, plus the force applied. Now I'm going to make a quick side note over here and just remind you that the equation for friction is equal to mu times the normal force. Okay, We know that the entire thing is not moving, so our F net is equal to zero, is equal to negative mu f of n plus the force applied. Okay. Now let's plug in some numbers here. We have negative mu is what we're looking for. We found that the normal force was 147. And in the problem, it told us that the force applied was 35 newtons. Okay. At this point, I'm going to um, add mu 147 to both sides to get Okay. Then I'm going to divide both sides by 147 so that my mu turns out to be 0 0.238. Now, mu has no units. Okay, Please do not put down any units for mu. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how you find the coefficient of friction.